Hi, Michael Brown here again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. In this lesson, we're going to go over the new Photoshop CS6 workspace and all of the various features that are different and the same. Okay, so let's get started. For any of you who are familiar with Photoshop in any regard, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop CS5 so you can see the difference, the initial thing that you see is a real visual change to the interface. It's by default is a very dark gray. This is what it's always been for the previous versions of Photoshop. Uh, medium gray document workspace and you see all of the outer functionality is in a light gray and as you can see that has been changed. We'll get out of CS5 and get back to where we need to go here. Now this isn't cut in stone, you have adjustable options on this, but this is the way they start it now. And under this window menu up here, I want to start by showing you right off the bat one thing. See the application frame down here that is checked. If I uncheck it by highlighting it, you are now looking through at your desktop. This is always available and has been for the last couple of versions of Photoshop before you didn't have the gray background available. In CS5 they have it. Now I like it because I'm going to talk briefly about color. If you have a colored desktop, I think we talked about this earlier in the uh, introductions, color affects how your eye sees. And if you have a blue background, for example, that's behind your image, that is altering the accuracy of the color that you detect with your eye. So neutral gray is really what you want. And so now if you've got a flower on your desktop, no problem. Just go to the drop down window and activate the application frame. And now this is a singular unit and you don't have to worry about your desktop. All right. The first thing we want to look at is the new interface. And we haven't done preferences. We'll do that in the next lesson, but I'm going to jump to a preference because this coloration here is adjustable. If you go in your Mac to the Photoshop drop down menu to preferences, if you're in a PC, go to your edit menu, drop down all the way at the bottom of the edit menu, you will find preferences and we'll go to the interface tab. And you see under the appearance theme here. It defaults at the dark gray. You have the choice of lighter. This was the basic before. Medium gray, darker gray, or jet black. Personally, I like the medium gray document window and the li slightly lighter gray on the outside, so I'm going to change this from the default to that one. There are also, which you'll, I will show you as we go down through here, different screen modes and you have the option of changing those colors as well. Okay? And there's also a shortcut that is not in the books. If you want to change the color of this document workspace, which is what this is called behind the window that's open, on a Mac, control click, on a PC, right click in the gray space around an open image, and there are your choices. You can alter the tonality of the document space independent from the outside just by doing that. Okay? That is how you change the actual coloration there. All right, so let's get started. We talked about the new interface. Let me put a new layer in here so we can kind of check off what we're doing. We discussed the interface directly. 